Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce some incredible birthdays happening over the next couple of weeks. In fact, some of these have already happened. Here's our May and June birthdays. Are you ready? Going to start from the very beginning, which is a very good place to start. We have in first grade, we have Benji, Tiana, and Joshua birthdays in May and June. Then in second grade, we've got Sue and Iexa and Maria Elizabeth and Mark. Then in third grade, We've got Isabella, Dalen, and Benjamin, May and June birthdays. Following, we're in fifth grade, Aiden, Nicole, Ruben, Nakoda, Asa. Abigail and Felicity in sixth grade. Oh my word, seventh grade has some June and, uh, June and May birthdays. We've got Aiden, Josh Rivera, Ilian, Raphael, Alec, and Nodder. Happy birthday to you all, and of course, no list would be complete without the 8th graders, Talia, uh, Fedens, and Malton. Happy birthday. Uh, moving on to high school, we've got our 9th and 10th graders. Thomas Taylor is our only 9th grader, and Elizabeth Rivera is our only 10th grader. But those two people, the only ones that have May or June birthdays, that is. Happy birthday to both of them. Um, both of them coming up here in June. So happy birthday to all of you. We are so blessed to have you as students here at Appleton, and we pray God's richest blessing on you as you experience another year of God's grace. We've been blessed to have you this past year. Happy birthday. I was going to speak for chapel on April 3. I want to be the first ESL student from China to speak for the chapel. Corona virus happened, but I still have a story and a message. I want to share that message with you. It's, it really has not been that long since the basketball season. It feels like a very long time since we are at home. I know our JV team didn't win any game at the Spencer tournament, but I think we always fought to the end. Hey, this season I even got to help with the middle school team, and yeah, they fought to the very end too. I think those of you who have played on the teams with me know I really like basketball. How many of you like to watch college basketball? I really like to watch basketball, but I extremely like to play basketball. I want to be really, really good at basketball. Maybe there are scholarships someday. When I first came to America, I was in seventh grade. I was only six at the time. I was shorter than I am now. But, I already like to play basketball. So one day, soon after I got here, my cousin me to play basketball. We went to the University of Maryland, Baltimore City campus. He took me there to play with college kids. Wow, that was nice. They have a really nice gym, and the college students were giants. The small ones were only six feet tall. Since my height was only five feet six, I, was, I feel like those tiny legendary guys from Ireland called leprechauns. Everyone was so tall. Play as a part of four on four team. The rule was that if you win, you play another game, and other game, and other game. My team won a lot of games. I feel good because I was playing well. 
I wasn't keeping my team from winning. After a while, a coach came in. I could kind of tell that he was someone everyone thought was very important because of the way people look at him when he came in. I was too shy to ask who he was, <laughs> and、um, I didn't speak good enough English yet either. <laughs> He also had a team of four. We play his group three times. After everyone was done playing, he went in to talk with me. The coach asked me, "I never seen you before. What is your major?" I said, "Uh, uh <laughs> I'm I'm in middle school." <laughs> he looked shocked and happy all at the same time. He said, he said some words to me that I never forgot. Believe in yourself, grow your skills, point guard, work out is worth it. Scholarship. I know that working for scholarship is really really hard. That is extremely true for me. I'm an Asian from China. Statistically, in the USA, I have only. 0.006 chance, or one out every 116 players who got a scholarship is Asian. And in the NCAA, only one Asian played for every 13 teams. But his word, his words have inspired me. They have lifted me up. I feel lifted up by the coach's encouraging words. There is a Bible story that also shows someone being lifted up. Let me tell you that story. Jesus had fed five thousand men plus their families. Peter had been so excited. Jesus was going to be the king. Peter was going to be important. Peter was going to be famous. But Jesus said. Get on the boat. Go across the water. I will pray. I will meet you later. Peter felt confused. He did not know what to do. He and the other disciples found the boat. Peter was a leader. He convinced the other disciples to to come too. The boat went far. It was in the middle of the sea. A big storm started. It came so suddenly they were very scared. In the middle of the storm, there was a ghost floating on the water. They were they were now very scared. <laughs> Ghosts were not supposed to be real, but mm -mm. then. The ghost start talking. Don't be afraid. It's me, Jesus. Peter shouted back to Jesus. If it's really you, have me come to walking on the water with you. Jesus actually said, "Come on, it's fine. Come walk, come walk with me." Yeah, that's kind of good. Isn't it? Peter start to walk on the water. He probably feel super cool, but when he saw the wind and the wave and everything, he became scared and afraid. All of a sudden, he sank down into the water. He was drowning. That is not good. Peter scream, "Help me, Lord! Help me!" You do know that yelling when you were drowning makes you die really quick, right? Jesus went closer to Peter. The next time Peter came up, Jesus grabbed him. They walked together back to the boat. Jesus saw the future. He had a vision. He know. What Peter could become, 
kind of like what the coach did when he talked to me. Many of you have memorized this Bible text in one Pastor Mark's Bible class. I think it's a good idea for this sermon. It says, "I know the plans I have for you," announced the Lord. I want you to enjoy succeed. I do not plan to harm you. I will give you hope for the years to come. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Jesus grabbed Peter and lifted him up, but he was so scared and discouraged. Peter went down in the water because he was afraid of scared water and storm. I have fell down, scared of no chance of success. Many, maybe coronavirus has made us really feel hopeless, like we are drowning. We are all probably a little scared.、Mm-hmm. Remember my first story. The coach lifted me up and encouraged me. I know the statistics are bad. I know that the future is not guaranteed, but I feel lifted up. When there is no vision, there is no hope. When Jesus is my vision, I have hope.